Power on the ventilator to perform a device check. For the device check, I need to connect the testing tube. Select device check from the standby screen and ensure the ventilator is hooked up to air and oxygen. Select calibration and follow the prompts on the display. The system leak test is comprised of two stages. The first stage checks the resistance and compliance of the testing tube. The second stage, the testing tube is pressurized to 60 centimeters of water. Then the system leak is assessed by the internal airflow sensor and the P1 and P2 pressure transducers. Pressure sensor test. The P1 and P2 transducers are auto zeroed. Both transducer pressures are measured and compare. Pressure differences must be within two centimeters of water. The safety valve test. The safety valve test is comprised of two stages. During the first stage, the safety valve diaphragm is depressurized, causing the testing tube pressure to vent to ambient via the safety valve exhaust. The second stage, with the exhalation valve closed, inspiratory flow will pass through the safety valve to ensure minimal amount of resistance. The air and O2 valves test. The air and O2 valves test is comprised of two stages. During the first stage, the air and oxygen P saws are test for leaks. Leakage from either valve must be under 0.2 liters per minute to pass. The second stage, the calibration check, the software selects the voltage corresponding to 20 liters per minute from the calibration table and verifies the flow is in range for each p valve. The O2 sensor test. The O2 sensor test calibrates the oxygen sensor. This is a two-point calibration at 21% and 100%. In the video, mine's going to fail due to no O2 source. The exhalation valve peep test. The exhalation valve peep test is comprised of two stages. During the first stage, the exhalation valve will be exercised to confirm freedom of poppet movement. Pressure will be ramped up to 110 centimeters of water, then return to zero in a triangular shape. P2 must be under one centimeter of water at the end of the stage. During the second stage, pressure ramps up to 110 centimeters of water to calibrate the exhalation valve. The exhalation flow sensor test. The exhalation flow sensor test is comprised of two stages. During the first stage, the exhalation flow sensor is calibrated against the internal inspiratory flow sensor. During the second stage, accuracy of calibration is verified at 30, 10, and 3 liters per minute. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do under my device check, I'm going to do my alarms and I want to just follow all the prompts on the screen. I do need to be hooked into AC power and my air and O2 needs to be hooked up also. Performing the alarms test confirms proper operation of the various alarms associated with each action and the recognition of disconnect and reconnect for each item tested. You will be asked to disconnect and reconnect your AC power, extended battery, your medical air and oxygen gas supplies and additionally you will test the buzzer alarm, my soft buttons and my encoder knob. It is important to confirm the buzzer alarm is functional as this buzzer generates the auto alarm for both power down of the ventilator as well as device alert conditions. 